Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigera Techies. This is our React JS tutorial. Part of this video, let me explain how to pass the parameters in routing. And this is the continuation of my last video. So in my previous videos, I clearly explained the concept of routing. For continuing this one, I will explain how to pass these some parameters and also how to get the past parameters. So we can see everything in the details. Now let me go to the application. So this is the route in my previous videos I have created. Now I'm going to create one more route with some parameters. Let me copy this one. And I'm going to provide the name as AM details. I mean employee details. Okay. So element I'm going to use one of the new component. I will create a little later. So before that, I'm going to include this parameter. Here the ID is just a parameter. So this is the syntax. You have to pass this parameter something like this. Now let me create the component. Let me save it. Now I'm going to use this component here. Okay, we have done. Let me save this one. I'm going to provide this URL. See here nothing is loaded. Now let me check in this console. So if you noted here, uh, there are no routes matching this location. Actually, if you are passing some parameters, it will match our routing condition. See now, it's fine. And also we are getting this employee details. So the similar way I can give some other values also. Okay. So the first step is we have done. We are passed some parameters, okay? And the second thing is we need to grab this parameter in our component, okay? Let me do that also. First, I'm going to my component. Here, I'm going to declare one constant variable, okay? And then let me use one of the hook from our router down use parameters okay and we are passed the IDs I mean this parameter name is ID so now I am going to use the same ID let me format it so once I have this ID I am going to bind here Now let me save it. See now I'm getting this employee detail with the 200. So in case if I'm providing just 11, I mean I just pass this 11. So I'm able to get the same value. Okay. So if I'm going to some other pages, it will be fine. If I, again, I mean, I'm coming back to this employee details. I'm able to get the value. So I'm able to grab the exact parameter value right now we have passed only one parameters the similar way we can pass this multiple parameters also for doing this one again I'm going to over routing side and I can put like a name okay So still uh, we are getting some error because the route is not matched. So if I'm giving like this, then it will be work. We are getting the second value also. So for getting the, our second value, I mean second parameter, the procedure is same. You have to include like this name. Yes, correct one like. So then what I'm going to do
see now so whatever parameter i am passing just i am able to get the values okay okay the final one is optional parameters let me take this scenario i am going to remove this test okay so actually i want work this situation but unfortunately in this router version of 6.0 the optional parameter concept has been removed so then handling this scenario we have to create one more route okay so let me copy this route and here i'm going to remove this name and then i can keep it like this so in this case it will be work fine if i'm just refreshing and also so if i give some other values the second route will be matched so based on that it will be work fine so here also in this bracket currently i don't have the values so i can apply some conditions here so in this employee details so here i am going to include some conditions so then I have to apply this conditional template concept. Now I am checking this name has some value then I have to bind this one otherwise I am not going to bind it okay. See now so currently the text is not coming if I am changing this URL so this second area is coming if I am removed it's completely gone so now we are on the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in my next video using this concept you can see one of the example like a real time employee screen so i plan to load all the employees information in this listing page so once i'm clicking the link i will i'm going to redirect in this i'm going to redirect this into our employee detail page so in the employee detail page we can see this individual employee complete information so please stay tuned for my next video thank you thanks for watching